Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Halo Infinite update video. This time it's July 9th. So what I'm going to be talking about is the upcoming Alpha Pack event along with some other news. So we're going to go ahead and start off with that Alpha Pack event. And that's basically going to take place between July 19th and August 2nd. So you have two weeks in order to complete the event pass. Now the event pass is going to have 10 items in it. And we're going to go ahead and check out most of them. So let's go ahead and move over to weapons. We're going to start with that. There is one weapon coding that you'll be able to get in this event. And it's for the BR. So let's move on over. It's a red color. So right here. Fire gun metal. So overall, I mean, it looks nice. It's clean. It's one of the really good coatings, I would say, for this. But... There are nine more items that you're going to be able to get. One of them I can't show you other than an image on screen. But let's go ahead and move over because everything else is for, or is mostly for, the Rashaka Armor Core. So going into here, we're going to start off with the coding that you can get during the event. Move on over. And here it is. Sapphire Gray. Overall, I mean, it's a, a clean look. I just don't know about that blue. It's too much of a, a baby blue to me, but I do like all that white. So I don't know. I'll have to end up seeing after I get a different helmet, which is available during that event pass. Maybe it might change my outlook on this. I might also have to add, you know, a chest piece and all that. But we'll go ahead and see once that time comes. But this is one of the items that you get. So eight more items. This is the coating. We're going to move over to uh, the shoulders, which again, this is another item that I like. Overall, I like the look of it. I mean, it does have that uh, black tape on it, but I do like how it looks overall. It's not too big because you got ones like this. It's just massive. And this one also. They're just, to me, too big. I like the subtle, clean look. And so this will actually do for me right here. So obviously you get the left one, you get the right one. I'm going to move over to the visor color. And the visor color that you get is Athena's Mirror. Overall, looks cool. I wouldn't say it's better than the one that I have right now. But, I mean, it, it's nice looking overall. I do like it. At least on this helmet, I do like it. Alright, so we have that done. Moving over to the utility. The utility that you're getting is this one right here, the Null Bag. Again, pretty cool looking. Don't know if I'm really going to sport it just because I, uh, I like the blades instead, throwing knives. But it doesn't look bad, especially if it's for uh, something that you're creating. Then moving over, let me go ahead and turn off the flaming arm so you go and look at this one a little bit better. Alright, so... Obviously, this is a wrist attachment, and here we go. The Tackstar Model 2490. I don't know about this one. That one looks a little bit too clunky in my opinion, but, I mean, uh, it's not bad. I kind of like this padding a little bit more. I don't know. I don't care for this one either, but uh, I'm going to stick with that one. But this is one of those items that you get for free, so you get to make that choice. Is this something that you actually want or not, or want to sport or not? Then, moving over to the last two pieces, or I guess there's three more, but the last two I could show you, which is going to be the helmet. And a lot of people are looking forward to this uh, Morgan helmet. Overall, it does look pretty cool. He does look like he has a long neck, but uh, overall, the helmet does look really cool. And then along with the helmet will be the attachment, if the attachment pops up doesn't seem to be loading yet let's see if I can go ahead and mess with it there we go got it to load up right there and that is the attachment right there the mod P CBRN so again those are the items you can actually check them in shop I didn't do anything I didn't hack or any of that type of stuff this is actually in I guess your armors you go ahead and check out the pieces and uh, they're obviously locked but you go ahead and check them out for yourself so you kind of plan on what you may, might want to do in the future once you actually unlock those. And that event starts in a little bit over a week. About, a, I guess, a week and a few days. 
And then the last but not least, one of the really cool items is Trap Master's Map. And you can see the image on screen right now. It's kind of just that thumbnail image. I mean, I can't say it looks great. I can't say it looks bad, but uh, this one has potential in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and wait and see, uh, obviously, how it looks on the character once the event goes live. Now, with this event, it's a narrative event. So you should be getting some more lore at the beginning, and I'm hoping they're going to have uh, lore at the end of the event also once you complete the event pass, kind of like they did on the first event or first narrative event. Now, moving on to the other news. So it looks like, I, I'm going to butcher the name, but uh, Paul Burton, maybe I didn't say it that bad, is joining 343 Studios as the technical design director. Now, the thing about him is he was part of Bungie back when they were doing the other Halo games. So him and Joseph stayed in. I mean, they stayed good friends. He's brought on board. I can't say he's going to work magic and bring it back to the, the old days of Bungie, but at least his know-how and knowing, you know, basically what people want from Halo, because he was there in the prime of Halo, he might be able to give some input there. That's the way I look at it. I'm not looking at it, at it as is he's going to change everything and make everything great. Obviously, that's going to take time. Then another uh, update is going to be the new book that is coming out. The new uh, book by, I want to say it's uh, Callie Gay, is going to be called Halo, the Rubicon Protocol. And that will be releasing on August 9th. So that's a uh, novel. And so basically it seems like it's taking place right before Halo Infinite's lore takes place. You're going to see it from perspectives of other Spartans, I, I feel, from what I've seen and read. It will basically be... Uh, the Banish had ambushed Zeta Halo from a different point of view. Um, and so that book, overall, I'm looking forward to. I don't know if I'm going to read it. I'm going to probably purchase it. I'm going to probably start reading a couple chapters. And one of these, uh, Halo follower, or one of them, are going to end up breaking it down and giving me all the lore that I need. So uh, shout outs to Halo follower. I enjoy his content, uh, Hidden Xperia, all the other Halo YouTubers. Halo support did put out that there was a, uh, I guess, a glitch, uh, broken part in Halo Infinite. And so basically what it is, is Halo Infinite was investigating reports of ranked arena multiplayer matches not rewarding um, competitive skill points, so your CSR, consistently. And since then, they've actually fixed it. So I think that happened on Thursday, because they had put out a patch for something else, and they ended up breaking this one, and now it's Saturday, it's fixed. You can go ahead and uh, play your matches there, and you can go ahead and get all of your, um, I guess, your CSR that you deserve. I don't know if they're going back and rewarding people for the CSR they missed out on. Hopefully they do. That would obviously be a, a good thing if they did that. But if not, at least they got it fixed right away, and it sucks for people playing ranked and not getting their CSR up. Then the last but not least story for today will be... The Kansas City Pioneers have been denied partnership with HCS. And there's a lot of people not happy with that because from what I hear, the Kansas City Pioneers have done a lot for the HCS community and, you know, they're really there. And I don't understand why and nor do a lot of other people. I mean, we're talking about people on other teams also saying that the Pioneers deserve this. So I hope uh, Toshi at 343, um, the HCS I guess people who run that, including Tashi, actually come out and say why they went and skipped on the Pioneers. You know, they're a high tier team, so yes, they have not won a championship, but there's plenty of teams in there that have not won championships. And so I want to know kind of what's going on. Did they do something wrong? Do they not like their players? Is there just too many? Because to me, in order for them to basically be a partnership, it means that they're going to end up getting like an armor in the game, an armor coding and all that bunch of stuff which is just more money for 343 for the people who actually root for that team. So I don't see why they wouldn't try to put as many teams in there as possible. You know, we got Ascend that just won the EU championship, and I would like to actually pur purchase their purple coating if it was available, but it's not available, so I guess I'm skipping on that until it becomes available. So we'll go ahead and see uh, what happens in the future with this. But I wanted to make sure to bring you as much info as I can on what's coming in the future and what's been happening since Tuesday. So hopefully you enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. 
Have a great weekend. Assassinators out.